They ain't give me that much time, so this shit gonna go real, real fast. I'm the new nigga. I've been in Atlanta for about two days. I've been fucking up since I got here. I'm ready to go. My first mistake was I went and ate at this Chinese buffet that they got around the corner from our room. It's good food at the buffet, too, if you don't mind shitting. If you don't mind shitting, then I recommend the Chinese buffet. It's right around the corner from the room. Because I had the shit at the Chinese buffet. I had the shit there. I was sitting there eating with my friend Smooth Earl. He's like, nigga, what's wrong with your face? I say, dude, I'm two centimeters dilated. I'm sitting in here shitting on myself in this Chinese. That goddamn Chinese food, y'all got real Chinese people cooking y'all food. We don't have that shit. I ate an egg roll, that shit was diabolical. That shit came right, right back. I ate that, I said, nigga, did I eat that or drop it? Let me get my ass up from here and go on to the back. I picked my plate up and walked off the lady, saying, you need a to-go plate? I say, ma'am, I'm taking this to the commode. I gotta eat this shit in the bathroom. First time in my life, my shit stank to me. Normally, I could take my shit. It's other folks' shit I can't take. I was in there killing my goddamn self. You know, Chinese, like, you need another root beer? I say, bitch, bring me a baby wipe. I had to wipe my damn thighs. I tell you what the issue was, too. I don't know if you ever been to the Chinese buffet, but they got these red ribs on the buffet in there. You never seen this, ma'am? They got some dog dick red ribs on the buffet. Y'all don't have dogs? Corvette red ribs on the buffet. Don't fuck with that. That ain't fuzz. That's for them. The lady gonna tell me, you left your fortune cooking, bitch. I know my fortune. I'm gonna be shitting blood all week fucking around with this Chinese buffet. That's my fortune. Second mistake I made, I went to the nice mall y'all got, fantastic mall, nice, whatever. I got hit on twice in the mall today, that's the good news. Problem was, both times it was by dudes. And I don't fuck around like that no more. I don't know what these shack people told y'all. I don't know what they told y'all about me on that damn internet. But me and Dunn and McClurkin, we changed our lives. Yes, I said it, I don't give a fuck. Okay, let me, let me back up, because I don't need nobody outside protesting and shit. I don't have no problem with gay people. Some of my best friends are going to hell. So I don't have no, I'm not judging. No, don't owe, don't owe me, that shit is in the Bible. I don't know the chapter, but it's in the red words. Check the red words. Them the important words. I didn't have no problem with that, you know what I'm saying? But my problem was, the, the dude hit on me so convincingly that he had me think for a second Now, now, I'm not gay, you know what I'm saying? But this nigga hit on me with such gusto, like, I know you gay with me. And I'm not, you know what I'm saying? And if I was, I wouldn't be attracted to, well, I'm not gonna get into what I'd be attracted to if I was gay, because you're right, that's gay. I'm trying to explain. If I was, I wouldn't be, he was a girly, you know, gay. I'm not gay, but if I was, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I'm gonna need me a man. You're gonna have to work for this little ass if you're gonna get it. I'm not gonna just be giving the ass away. My mom ain't raised no slut. You gonna respect me in this damn mall. Nigga, girl ass, he had his hair all slick like Prince and shit, and had these high boots on that women wear. Came over to me smelling like perm and pre cum and whatever the fuck they call it. Don't ask me how I know what that smell like. I didn't have no problem with that. The problem was he had this glittery lotion shit on his hand. Then I reach out, shake his hand, pull my hand back. Now I got the glitter shit on me. Now I don't know if you know this, but glitter is like the herpes of the arts and craft world. Once you got the glitter, you just fucking got the glitter. You know what I'm saying? Now I gotta walk around Atlanta all day like I didn't beat the dick of a unicorn or some shit. I haven't never beat the dick of a unicorn. I'm just assuming that if you do, beat the dick of a unicorn, that glitter will come out. That's a safe assumption to make. I went on ahead and gave the nigga my number because I don't know nobody here. I could have friends. Then the third mistake, they gave us this drive. I don't know why they put this nice ass mall y'all got in the middle of this bad ass neighborhood, but we got lost. And the drive ain't even from here, which is stupid. You know what I'm saying? We got lost in a bad neighborhood. And soon we turned down the street, I say, sir, just take me back to my room. It was niggas everywhere, Lord. 
I don't know the name of the neighborhood, but shit, we ain't got to live like this no more. <laughs> Who is the mayor? God damn. This shit need to be shut the fuck down, nigga. It look like a hated playground. Just, sir, why got this is the 47% rum they was talking about. You know what I'm talking about? Just them. Bunch of badass black kids playing in the street, don't nobody want to move. Just no shirt, no ball, no, just a flock of failure playing in the fucking street. I can say that. I'll move on, because I see y'all sensitive about it. <laughs>